Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, and today we're gonna work out your forearms with just a resistance band. So you don't need anything else, no attachments, just you and the band. If you don't know, this video is a part of a series, the No Attachment Resistance Band series. So if you wanna work out other body parts to complete your weekly schedule, go ahead and check out the playlist. Now for you subscribers out there, there's a new feature that YouTube added called the Super Like button. It looks like this. And what this is designed for is for viewers out there who really want to support their favorite channels can do so by clicking the super like button. So if you like all the free workouts that I provide on the channel, you've been watching for a while and you're wondering how you can support the channel, I would really appreciate it if you hit that super like button. So today we're working out our forearms. This is going to help us develop strength in our arms. Now, a lot of people neglect working out their forearms because they just want to focus on bigger biceps. But here's the thing, if you're looking for bigger biceps, you definitely want to work out your forearms because most bicep exercises are going to use a lot of forearm strength. So if you've been working out your biceps for a while and you've reached this plateau or you just can't increase resistance, it's probably because you haven't developed your forearms. So make sure you check out this video and you follow all the details because I'm going to go over each exercise, all the form and technique you need to do to really develop your arms. And I'm also going to provide technique tips like this. So you can go ahead and make sure that you're doing everything the right way in order to get the best results possible the fastest as possible. So the bands I'm using today are a loop style band by Undersun Fitness. These are my favorite loop bands to use. And if you're wondering why these are my favorite, go ahead and check out this review video that I did on these bands so you can know exactly why these bands are some of the best quality loop bands that you can buy. Now, you don't need the Undersun bands to complete the workout. Any loop style band will work. It's just that in this video, I'm gonna go over all the resistance levels that I'm using so you can follow along a little bit easier if you have the Undersun resistance bands. But don't let that stop you. I'm all about making sure that you get the best workout possible. Now we've said enough. Let's go ahead and get started. Now with this first exercise, I'm using an undersun heavy band. And we're going to show you the setup first. Now you're going to take that band and you're going to put it down low and step on the band with your feet. Keep them close together. Now let's look at the grip. Now the grip that we're going to use is that we're going to have our palms down and we're going to start with tension. So you're going to reverse curl up and this is going to make it so that we can maintain tension on the forearms. So as you come up, you're going to really flex that forearm directly towards those biceps. So you want to just try to touch those biceps with your forearms. Now you want to make sure that you control the band all the way up and all the way down. Don't just let it down. Now in this next exercise, I'm using a medium sized band. So what we're going to do is step on the band with one foot, make sure the band is flat, and we're going to grip the band just like so here, and we're going to create a loop. And you're going to go ahead and grab it with the same hand on the same side that you're stepping on the band, and then you're going to reverse curl up individually with that one arm. Now we're going to take those same thoughts that we had in the last exercise, but we're just going to focus on that individual arm at a time. So it's very important that we go up slow, come back down slow, and really focus on that mind-muscle connection. You really want to feel the contraction in that forearm when you're going up and down.
Now in this next exercise, we're gonna use a heavy band. And this exercise has a twist, literally. So you're gonna take the band and you're just gonna make sure that it's flat and then you're just gonna fold it even there and create another fold there and just want to make sure that everything's nice and even and we're going to grip the bands this way that's the most important thing about this is that you're going to use one hand stationary all right and then you're going to use the other hand to actually twist now just keep twisting back and forth and you see how much contraction i'm having right there in the forearms so we're just working this one side here my right side for now and my left side is just keeping it stationary. And then we're gonna switch to that other side here. Same thing, but in reverse, using the right hand as the stationary, and we're gonna use the left to just twist and twist to really develop those forearms. So for this exercise, we're using an undersun extra heavy band. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that band and we're gonna step on it here with both feet. Make sure that they're nice and together. And we're gonna put our hands underneath the band. That's right, palms up. And you're gonna take that band and make sure you start off with tension. You know what, I'm gonna show you here what I mean by tension, okay? Because this is very important for this exercise. So you're gonna take it right here and you see that tension? I want you to have good tension just like that. All right, now let's get to the workout. So we're gonna go ahead and curl up just like how you see here. But one of the parts you probably don't notice is my elbows are pinched right against my sides there. I don't want them kind of floating there. I want them pinned against my body. So all I can focus on is curling up my wrists. This is one of the greatest exercises for developing your forearms. So make sure that you control it up and down. So this is how I would add this workout into your weekly schedule. Go ahead and take the videos from the No Attachment Series playlist and apply them this way. I recommend working out five days a week with two days rest. Make sure you take your two days rest. It's very important. On the first day, I want you to work out your biceps and your triceps. On the second day, I want you to work out your chest and your traps. On the third day, I want you to work out your shoulders and your back. And on the fourth day, I want you to use that whole day to work out your legs. And on the fifth day, I want you to work out your abs and use this video to work out your forearms. So now you know how to work out the body parts throughout the week. Now it's time to go ahead and click that playlist so you can make sure that you can work out those other body parts. Thank you so much for watching and tune in next week for another workout.